everybody. Today I'm going to take a look at this Coleco Sports 10-in-1 handheld portable system. This came out in 2006, an interesting time when the Coleco name was being used to make portable systems. They made a few different ones, but none of them really had anything to do with like the Coleco handhelds or ColecoVision games, they were kind of like, most of the time, they are kind of like Flash games, or in one case, they had some like Sega Master System games on one. So anyways, this unit came from Willie from Arcade USA. Thank you, Willie. Check out his channel. It runs on three AAA batteries. There is a volume switch right here. There's a headphone jack and a TV AV uh, cable out right here. The cool thing is when they sold it brand new, you, it actually came with a cable that you could plug in there and plug into your TV so you could play it on your TV if you wish. You have like a circular D-pad and then right here is your main buttons. This red one is your main button for all the games. This is kind of like a start button. Uh, it lets you like pause and go back to the main menu. This is also like a reset button. These buttons aren't used that much uh, in the games. And here is our power button. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. So the thing about this system, and you can see you have 10 games. You use up and down to select a different one. So we got soccer, air hockey, basketball, bowling, and tennis, mountain climbing, skiing, long jump, diving, and boxing. So we will pick one of these games by pushing the, the main button. The, the thing about this is the music is a little irritating. It just repeats over and all, uh, over and over. It's like a two second loop for every game. So soccer is not a full game of soccer. You take turns doing penalty kicks against the computer. So right now I'm going to aim and kick. Let's go in the, uh, over there. And then I try and block the shot and I, I jumped in the wrong direction. So it's just a penalty kick showdown. And, and the music is really irritating. So let's see, we can, oh, I didn't do that. So let's go ahead and quit. Okay, so air hockey is next, and air hockey plays like Pong. You basically just move left and right. And there really isn't much to this game. You can't even go up and down. And that's it. It's it's just a simple game of air hockey, and it's not fun. I, I wish I could move up and down, but you can't, just side to side. So basically, Pong... This guy's is air hockey basketball. So you have a little power meter down the bottom and when it's appropriately filled, you press the button to make your shot. So I'm going to need a lot of power here. I'm far away. So let's try it and I make it. And that's all this game is there. There is really no, like, it's not like one-on-one -on -one basketball. It's not like team. It's just you trying to make these various shots. And so that's kind of like not that interesting to be honest with you. Let's quit that. Let's go to bowling. So bowling, you press up and down to select an angle. You can see the arrow there. You press the main button to roll the ball, throw the ball, if you will. And there, there's a power meter. So depending on the angle and the power meter, it automatically curves. Depends on how your shot will do. So let's go like this. And then let's just throw a straight ball. And, you know, it's it's okay for what it is. Um, I find it pretty hard to get strikes, but let's see. Will that, will that do it? Let's roll it slowly. Come on. And this is the part where I'm waving my arms and it just goes right by. So it's, it's okay. Tennis. So it's kind of like reminds me a little bit of Wii Sports Tennis, except all you do is when the ball is near you, you just hit the main button to hit it. And you're playing against a computer. So it's actually, you know, like a real tennis game, not like basketball where you're just making free throws and, and shots. You're actually playing a game of tennis, but uh, kind of light, honestly. Mountain climbing. So mountain climbing, you hit these two buttons to alternate hands. You have to go like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And you use the D-pad, hold it down to slowly move to the left or right. And you want to get up the mountain before the timer runs out. And in order to do that, you really have to mash the buttons and it, it wears on your thumbs after on your thumb after a while. You know, you can do like a thing where you go like this to try and get up higher, but it, it's just not that fun. And when you get up the mountain, woo, you made it to the top. That's about all there is. Skiing. Let's do skiing next. So skiing, you hold down the button to go faster and then, you know, left and right to go through the gates. And basically, that's all there is to skiing. 
just keep the button held down to keep your speed going. When I first played this, I didn't get the manual with this. When I first when I first played this, um, I didn't know why I wasn't going fast enough because you had to hold the button down. And we just keep going and going. Kind of miss that gate there. It just keeps going and going, and and then the the then the camera decides to go out of focus, and just not that entertaining. Let's go ahead and get out of skiing. Okay, long jump, long jump. You have to hold down right on the D pad to get the guy running. He'll start going faster and faster. You don't need to do anything else except just hold down right, and then when you get close to the line, guess what you do? You press the button to make your jump. And I got 6.8 meters. Let's try that one more time. Let's see if I can do a little bit better than that. I believe I can. There's also a little power meter on the side, on the bottom there. But it's going so fast, it's honestly hard to really coordinate it. And I got eight. Okay, nothing, not that great. You just do that over and over. whoop de doo Diving. You're thinking like, okay, diving, let's go like, you know, perform like an Olympic style dive. Nope, this is, this is kind of deep sea diving, except whenever, um, Whenever a fish touches you, you just freeze and you have an oxygen meter and apparently my oxygen ran out and my game ended with me dying underwater. whoop de doo You're trying to get to the bottom of the seafloor without touching a fish and even the smallest fish will paralyze you temporarily, which is like kind of ridiculous and you just can't really move that fast to avoid them. I have yet to make it to the bottom. Hey, you got a shark. That's cool. Let's try one more time. So I'm just holding down the button and that swordfish is going to impale me. And that basically means I won't get, oh, and that one, no, he didn't. Wow. And so close. So you basically have to do a perfect run, which is almost impossible because the fish come out so fast from the sides. And then boxing is last. Um, boxing, you just use the D-pad and the main button to do various punches. So like I press down to do this punch got the uppercut by pressing up in the button jab by just pressing the button and you just keep doing it it's, it's a bit of a button masher um not a particularly good button masher it's you know boxing on the atari 2600 was more entertaining than this you can't move up and down you're just there you see your life bars, whoever gets, you know, depleted first, they get knocked out. That's a, that your game's over. I even had one game where somehow I punched the guy and then I fell down and lost. I don't know how, but that's what happened. Let's see if we can get a winner here. When they released this, I remember that there was a little web advertisement they did, a little commercial where they replace the audio for boxing, which is good because the audio is terrible. Just these two second loops of music, it gets irritating. They replaced it with commentary from the Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson fight where Mike Tyson bit his ear and they tried to redo it with that. It was like a comedic thing and I lost. And you know what? If you buy this, you will lose too. But if you want to buy this, you can get this on eBay for about $20 brand new shipped. There's a couple sellers selling these things. But personally, it's not something that I care much for. The music's irritating. The games are pretty shallow. But I still want to say thank you to, to Willie for saying me this because I enjoy reviewing these things, even if they have bad games on it. Let me know what you think of the Coleco Sports 10 and 1 in the comments below. And I will see you next time on the next No Swear Gamer video.